here in this chapter also you will be learning a concept which which is very much around us as interest so since your financial transactions are very limited that is like your source of income is the pocket money that you get and you expend all that money to uh, whatever interest you have but here when i am talking about interest it's basically when someone take money from other person or bank so let's say a took 100 rupees from b from b and said ki yeah, i'll return the money after an year if a said i'll return the money and after an year but b knows that after an year the money the value of this 100 rupees will not be same and why b will give that money to a if there is no interest for b so b asks for an interest b asks for an interest that okay take my money which is 100 rupees but return 10 rupees extra with that 100 rupees. so this 10 rupees is called interest okay so if it is 100 rupees only then 10 rupees is the 10% of 100 so in similar way if a is taking 2000 rupees so we call the amount that has been uh, lent by b or taken by a we'll call it principal this amount will call a uh, principal amount and the money that it will give uh, at the end of an year after the interest after adding the interest so interest here would be 200 because 10% was the rate of interest so how do we write it 10 pcpa 10% per annum or 10% per annum okay we can write interest in this way so we call it interest rate so the name of this thing is interest rate and once i'll calculate the interest because rate is always given on the 100 basis so once after we calculate the interest which is 200 here and the total amount that a will return after one year will be 200 2200 and it will be called amount okay so now you know what is principal now you know what is interest now you also know what is amount now the problem here is and uh, not the problem the situation here is that a took 2000 rupees which was principal after one year you know this line says after an year after one year the interest became 200 which is 10% per annum that you know and total amount became 2200 only now a is not willing to return this money right now he says let me keep it for next year also i mean let me keep it for one more year so in that year now b will have two things matlab b can says okay so you have my 2000 rupees as a principal you just give me 200 every year like 10% every year so next year he will also uh, the matlab the interest will also become 200 again the 10% of 2000 and this will be the interest of the second year and the total amount that a has to return will be 24 year and 3400 but what happens this is what we actually read and say and it is called simple interest you know it is called simple interest so before uh, knowing simple interest in detail let me tell you about the compound interest also although we will not be teaching compound interest i will not be teaching compound interest right now uh, but i'll explain or i'll try to define what compound interest is so now the situation is after an year the total amount that a has 
which he needs to which he was expected to return to b was 2200 now b says that either return the 200 amount to me or consider this 200 also as a loan amount for the next year because if you are not returning me 200 that 200 also will be added to the principal so now after second year a will have to pay 10% of interest of entire 2200 also because 2000 was the loan amount and 200 which he could not return a year before. So the 10% of 2200 is 220. Now the total amount which he has to return after two years is 200. Sorry, 2000, the interest of the first year, which is 200. Interest of the second year, which is 200 again for 2000 and 20 more for this. Okay. So, likewise, in next year, he will have to pay all the amount that has incurred through interest also. Interest for all those amount which has incurred through interest also. So, this is the case which we call compound interest. Although the entire world, our banking system or any financial system follows this only. Because everybody expects to get money of all the interest which you could not pay. But in our textbook or wherever we will be studying or whatever question we will do. If it is not specifically written that the rate of interest or the interest rate is compounded and a compound interest. You will consider it, if it is not written, if you will consider all the interest as simple interest where there is no interest on interest. That means the 10% the per annum interest rate which was there, you have to pay this percentage for the principal amount only every year. Is it okay for everyone? Now? Yes. Tell me. So now in uh, in this uh, 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 like it's for simple interest, the interest that you could not pay year by year, there will be no interest on that interest. The only interest that you will be giving every year will be on the principal. Is it okay for everyone? Prerna, you were asking something? No, so I was saying yes. Okay. So any anyone who has any problem with this concept right now, till now? No, sir. Okay, very good. So now first I will go, uh, uh, I'll try to just derive the formula that you have all uh, learned before, which is if there is a principal P and rate of interest R percent and you have to return money for after T time, T years time, and R percent per annum, and T is written in year. So now you know the interest amount will be, the I will be, the R percent of P, which is P into R by 100, which you all know. And, and the interest, which is there for 1%, it will get multiplied by time for all the years with whatever time it has been put for the loan. So like in the previous case, if the principal was 2000, rate of interest by 10% per annum and if let's say the uh, the time to return was 3 years so the total interest he has to pay is 2000 into 10 by 100 which is interest for 1 year and it will get multiplied by 3 to make it the interest for 3 years so this formula you have learned always in your school PRT by 100 this is our, my interest. And when someone asks, what is the amount that I have to return? So you will just add I to this P. So this is the amount that you have to return. So this is for interest. This is for amount. This is very basic calculation that you can do. But the point is, you will sometimes the way that you have written here, no, no, the way this way to solve or to find the interest will be little difficult for you. 
I'll give you an example. Before giving you that example, let me uh, let me so you would think that if let's say if anything is principal, like P is the principal, and rate of interest is five year, so you know in first year. In first year, you will be giving five year of interest, five year of five percent of P. Second year, you you will be giving five percent of P only. Third year, you will be giving five percent of P only. So after third year, the total interest will be fifteen percent because percentage has additive property, and all these five percent has the same base, which was P because. Interest is not being added. So the total interest is 15%. So the point here is we can add the percentage and then finally calculate what will be the percent value. So if 4, 1 by 3 percent per annum, if this is the interest rate, so after 3 years, After three years, he has to pay the total interest as four one by three plus four one by three plus four one by three. Total percent would be thirteen percent. So, what do you see here is like if the principal is given here eight hundred. If eight hundred was the principal. And someone asked that what is the interest that you have to pay after three years with this rate of interest. So rather than doing by this way that the interest that you have to pay is 800 into 4, 1 by 3 divided by 100 into 3. Rather than doing the calculation this way, what I did, I added the all the percentage for three years. And then I can directly calculate the 13% of 8, which is 13 into 8 only, you know, uh, with what will be 104. I can just say that 104 is the interest that you have to pay. So here to find 104, you will have to calculate or solve entire this. But here you just need to add this and find the final percentage value that what will be the interest. Is it okay? So sometimes it becomes very easy when you just add the percentage for uh, required number of times as per the time. But sometimes I'll, I'll give you a situation here. Let's say 800 is the principal. Rate of interest is uh, like 6% uh, per annum and time is three year, four month. Basically, we can write it at like what? Agar if you want to write it in year, so three year, four month will be written as three, one by three. One by three. One by three. You know? Four month is one third of the year. So if you can write it like this. So in this case, it's better to calculate interest for a year only. So interest for a year will be 6% of 800, which is 48. Okay. And then we can add this 48 to required number of times. So total interest, the total time therefore that the interest you have to pay is 43 years, one by three years. So 48 you have to pay for the first year. Second year, you have to also pay 48. For third year, you have to pay 48 only. And this 1 by 3, for 1 by 3 year, you have to pay 16 rupees, one third of total annual interest. So now I can just add these four quantity, which is uh, uh, like what? You will get uh, 144 plus 16, 160. So this will be my total interest. So again, this becomes little easier than 
calculating the same interest by this way, which we have learned through formula that P into R into T by 100. So 3, 1 by 3. So if you, if you would have calculated the same interest through this formula, it would have taken some time. But by this way, you can easily calculate the interest. Okay. Is it fine? You Now you have two ways to calculate interest. Uh, three way, in fact. One, uh, all three way, I'm, I'll just mention the three way here. Three ways here. Either you can do this PRT by 100, or you can just add all the percentage, final percentage, the final interest rate percentage, R plus R to the required number of time, and this percent of P. Or you can do it like you can calculate the interest for an year, first year, I1. So the same quantity, like not do not write I, I'll just write Y for the first year. So you'll just add this I to the required number of years and calculate the interest. So is it okay for everyone now? Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. So now you also know if the time is not in complete uh, year, you just need to find out what fraction of year is that time. So for eight months, for eight months, so for eight months, what uh, interest you will be paying uh, or you'll be giving two-third of an year. Eight month is two-third of a year. Sometimes they will give you a, a date like some March to some May. This kind of date will be given. And if you count the number of date, you will be getting either 73 or in some case 146 like this. So 173, sorry, 73 days or 170, uh, 146 days, 73 days, you can write it as like one by fifth of an year. Is it okay? So that's uh, similarly 146 is what? Two by fifth of an year. So in order to calculate the number of year, we can just use the fractional way and other part way to represent the time. So if it is six months, it is half year. If it's three months, it is one fourth year. And a three months, kitoga, one fourth of the year. Nine months, kitta saloga, how much year it will be? Three fourth. Three fourth of the year. Okay. So this is how we calculate the time if it is not written in complete integer years. Now let's go to the uh, next uh, thing here. So, yes. So you days ka um, 366 or 365 karna na, leap year consider. Ka. Nain, you, would, you don't have to uh, like, uh, go in that detail because one day will not matter a lot. So you can just okay. visualize through the months key. It is talking about this month to this month. It, it will must, must because they will not give you like 80 days or 90 days. Yeah? Okay. So in general, they will give you the complete fractional part of the year, which is 1 by 5 or 2 by 5. Okay. okay. Now, so after doing this, I'll be uh, talking about some cases. There will be many cases where they will, the, the question will say, the rate of interest is, is same, rate of interest is same as time in year by numerical value. Numerical value. 
so <clears throat> now in, in such type of case what they are saying if rate of interest is 2% the time would be 2 year so in this case total interest that you will pay is what percent of principal 2 into 2 2% 2 for 2 years it is 4% only Similarly, if it is 5% for 5 year, total interest you will pay here, what percent of the principal? 25. 25%. 25%. So, it can be in decimal also or uh, can be in a, a mixed fraction also. So, let's say if I am writing uh, 3, 1 by 3%, 3, 1 by 3% for 3, 1 by 3 year. Three one by 3% uh, 3, 1 by 3 year. So what percent of interest that you will have to pay? So you'll multiply 3, 1 by 3, it becomes 10 by 3 into 10 by 3, which is 100 by 9. And 100 by 9 is what? 11, 1 by 9 percent. Eleven one by 9 percent. Or they can also say in decimals 7.5 percent for 7.5 year. So the total interest that the person will pay will 7.5 into 7.5. You know how to calculate it. If you have attended the uh, numbers lecture, we'll just write 25 year. And since 7 is there, so we'll uh, multiply 7 into 8. It will be 56. And since point was there up before a, a one digit, so it will become uh, it, the point will be given here only. So 56.25% will be my final interest. So I'm writing it here, but they will never ask in direct way. They will ask you the same question in indirect way where they will say in this way. Let me write you here a question. They will ask you, there was a principal which was 1200 and a person paid 300 as interest. 300 as interest. The condition was the rate of interest was equal to the rate of interest was equal to time in a year, and uh, of course, numerical value only. Because these are two type of data, they cannot be equal. So the numerical value is equal. So in this case, we will directly try to see how much interest he is paying, total interest. So the total interest here is 25%. The total interest here is 25%. And it is possible when and if you can also square root it, it is possible when 5 into 5 is being multiplied in only this case. So 5% will be your rate of interest in 5 year will be uh, your time. So they can ask, they will ask you in reverse way, they will give you an amount, they will also give you an interest. And if you are, if you can get the interest, if the interest is 25%, the answer will be 5 only. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Very good. Next ah. explain sir. Explain kar do. Kya explain kare, batao. This last question kaise? the principal was 1200. Interest 300 pehle hi bata diya ki itna pay kiya gaya. But the condition was the rate of interest was equal to the number of year by for which the money was given. So, I tried to check what is the total percentage of interest we had to pay, which was 25%. 300 is 300 is one fourth of principal. That means 
interest you have paid. And in this example, we have already explained that 25, you will get 25 only if 5 into 5 is there. So you can just square root it like root under 25. You can calculate root under 25, it is 5. So it automatically says that 5% will be the rate of interest and 5 year will be the time. Is it okay now, Erika? Yes, I understood. So now uh, let's go for a very... Uh, so only one thing I'll be not uh, I, I'll not be explaining today will be installments. But there is one thing which is very important to know here is one thing which is very important to know here is that if you return anything, you can just write it here. If you can, if you return anything in between, if you return, like the person who have taken the loan is returning any quantity, anything in between, in between, it always goes, it goes from principal. So let me give an example here. You took a loan of 500. Situation is you took a loan of 500. You took a loan of 500. Which is the principal. Rate of interest is 20% per annum. And condition is Malo A, I am writing not you. A took a rent, uh, loan of uh, 500. Rate of interest was 20%. And he returned two hundred after an year. Rupees two hundred after an year. And the question is. What money should he return what money should he return after two year to complete or pay complete payment of loan? Okay, are you getting the question here? Everyone, please tell. Yes, sir. Question is that principal is 500, rate of rate, rate of interest is 20 only, 20% 20 only. But he returned 200 rupees and after an year, after second year, after two years, what amount he has to pay to finish the loan? So I'll just go uh, like year by year. So the principal is 500 after an year this line shows after an year the interest accumulated after an year the interest and amount accumulated is 500 plus 100 is it okay for everyone after an year 20 percent of 500 100 will be there and 500 is the principal this is the total amount accumulated after an year okay yes sir. yes very good now he returns 200 rupees at this point so always remember as long as principal is there any amount he returns will go out from principal only so the person who has given loan or person who have taken the loan he will not return this 100 rupees he will return that 200 from this 500. And this is a big deal here because after returning, the amount that you are left with is 300 of principal. This is principal. 
plus this 100 rupees of interest we which, which you did not return so this is all happening in first year only okay the only point to remember here is whatever you are returning is going from principal as long as principal is there fine bolo yes, everyone sir. रूबा स्नेहल इलासिका इलासिका तुम बहुत दिनों बाद क्लास आई हो एवरीवन सर सर फॉर सेकेंड इयर इफ यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट द इंटरेस्ट वी शुड टेक द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट और हाँ विल कैलकुलेट द इंटरेस्ट ऑन प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट ओनली आई बी कमिंग फॉर इट लेटर बट राइट नाउ दी थिंग दैट यू हैव टू Uh, remember or take care is the money that i have returned which was 200 it 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 basically uh, went from the principal only so now the money that you have as a loan is 400 but this 100 is the part of interest so after second year you have to pay 300 of principal and 20% of 300 of the interest Which is sixty, and the hundred which we did not pay before, and all this you will pay in the second year, and it will become four hundred sixty. Bolo, we say something. Me arrange, you guys. The money that you are returning in between is going from principal, so the principal got reduced. so the interest for the second year got reduced it became 60 only is it okay everyone follow yes sir ansika yes, ilasika everyone please tell so the the answer here will be 460 let's say let's say uh, he said he returned 200 for Two continuous year, two hundred rupees for two continuous years, and pay back rest of amount in the third year. Rest of amount in the third year. So now, what will happen here? What we'll do here is, I will again pay the two hundred. if the question is like he paid 200 again next year so what amount he will have to pay after 3 year so the amount that i will pay the 200 amount that i will pay it will come from where from this 300 only so now i'll be left with 100 rupees as principal 60 rupees of the interest and 100 rupees of the interest which was accumulated so this all is interest and this is only the principal so after third year this was second year and this was third year this is third year after third year you will pay 100 of principal of course the principal you have to return interest of the principal will be 20 only not 20 ha 20% so 20 only the 20% of 100 is 20 and all the other interest that you have not paid yet which was 60 and 100 so the total amount that you will pay to finish the loan is 280 rupees is it fine for everyone okay tell me yes sir very good so now you all know this complexity as well now one of the uh, question which basically is not very difficult but many of you gets confused in that let's say i asked a principal becomes becomes triple of itself triple of itself Yeah, three times of itself in ten years. Uh, 
a principal becomes triple of itself in 10 year with simple interest of course uh, you don't have to write simple interest if you are not saying any simple or complex word you know, compounded word you will be uh, considering it simple interest only so what is the rate of interest the question here is what is the rate of interest so now tell me if something becomes three times of itself if p becomes three times of itself the amount becomes 3p what is the interest that you have paid or you have got interest kitna hoga batao if p becomes 3p the interest is 2p one if t p becomes 3p that means the added amount the extra amount that you have got is 2p that's why it become 3p so if a money got tripled the interest is 200% 2p matlab 200% and now you know that 200% became it, it the interest we got 200% in 10 year so i'll divide it from 10 year so the total number of year i am getting is what 20 year sorry total number of total interest is 20% the interest is 20% so similarly the catch thing is if interest if the money got five times if the money got five times of itself how much interest did you get 4p yes that is 400 the total interest is 400% okay if money became acha now the question is see what is happening here the the question i'll i'll keep this question as a homework because it's very simple if you'll think in that way and if you're not able to solve it we'll be doing it in the next class so the question the question is a money become money becomes four times of itself itself in 12 years so in how much time in how much time it will become eight times of itself so if the naturally you are thinking the answer should be 24 year it's wrong okay so a money becomes four times in 12 year you know in how much time it will be uh, in how much time uh, it will be <clears throat> eight times so it will not be the double of the time you know because the interest that that you are getting the interest that you were getting in getting in making the money in four time will be 300% here you will the interest will be getting 300% but for 800 times the interest will be sorry the for eight times the interest that will be getting is 700% my pen is not writing here for for making the money eight times of itself the total interest you need to get is 700% so for 300% it is 12 years so for 700% it will not be 24 years now how to find answer i am leaving it to you you can just think and find the answer okay and then we will be meeting in next class for compound interest or i'll uh, 
have a class for problem solving also for simple interest before going for compound interest. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay.